It is no secret that the Chicago Sky's current training facility is a bust. Chicago Sky has lost many talented women due to their poor facilities. So Angel just posted, i put the photo right here, on her Instagram story with some uh, having dinner. She was in attendance to a dinner with some very important people regarding the Chicago Sky. One of those important people is a man named Lester Coney. He's a Chicago Sky owner, along with a woman named Nadia Bal Baldwin. She's another chairman plus co-owner of the Chicago Sky. Front Office Sports just released an article titled, Chicago Sky Finally Ditching Suburban Rec Center as Practice Facility. Now, so the Chicago Sky are expected to unveil plans for a new practice facility before the end of the WNBA's Olympic break. The Chicago Sun-Times reported Sunday says the team is considering a move to the Wintrust Sports Complex near Midway International Airport. I know where that is. Uh, a $38 million facility, a $38 million facility that opened up in 2021, according to the outlet. So this report, so this is how you know that this is a competitive um, league. So it says the report comes just days after the Phoenix Mercury unveiled their new $100 million practice facility over WNBA All-Star Weekend. It says the Phoenix Mercury facility has hot and cold pools, an underwater treadmill, damn, a private chef, a steam and sauna, and 24-hour access for players and staff. So this kind of investment and that of other recently opened facilities for WNBA teams such as Las Vegas and Seattle are exactly what's driven star players out of Chicago for years. Again, Kalia Copper, Marina Mabry, they are leaving Chicago Sky, so Chicago Sky because they said they cannot contend, okay, against other teams. They actually want to go in, up for a championship, such as Marina Mabry, and of course, Kalia Copper. She said, like again, like the, the Chicago Sky is poorly run and it has poor facilities. They don't even provide meals for the players. This is a quote from Kalia Copper. She says, "I want to see the organization keep up with the Joneses." Kalia Copper told the Sun Times last summer, seven months before the 2021 Finals MVP left the Sky for the Mercury in February. Skylar Diggin Smith and Naneka uh, uh, Naneka Agumake, two players Chicago wanted in free agency, both signed with Seattle. I felt the energy of the investment. I realized it was something that should be a priority on my list. Agumake said about picking the storm. See, Agumake, Naneka Agumake, beautiful, beautiful Nigerian sister. She herself said, "I felt." That investment so that's why she literally she made a conscious decision i'm going to go with the seattle storm i'm going to play and represent for seattle storm because they have better facilities that are better run better ran, better maintained they actually have investments and money to back me up to actually be a key player and to be a star on this team whereas if i were to go to chicago sky one i'd be freezing in the winter time okay let's be honest but you know chicago is a beautiful city i loved it i'm going to visit again in october but um of course in the case like if i were to go to chicago sky I'm not going to get what I need to succeed. There are no tools for me. I'm going to be practicing in a freaking middle school basketball gym with or without a locker and no meals provided for me. I'm not doing it. The article continues on. This is very interesting. It says, since 2011, the Sky have practiced at the Sachs Recreation Center in Deerfield, about 30 miles from the team's home arena. Sachs is owned by the Deerfield Park District. Players team, is players team issued apartments are near the facility. So the team stays in a hotel closer to the arena on game days. I heard about this that the women in the WNBA they make so little money that um they're actually staying in like hotels a lot of times when they travel or even when they're like living in like an expensive city such as like LA for the LA Sparks you can probably make like sixty five thousand dollars per year as a starting uh, player and it's like I heard a lot of them stay in hotels but it says that um the team has issued apartments near the facility so you have to is it a required of you if you play for the Chicago Sky to to live in these apartments near the the middle school gym, the freaking Sachs Recreation Center in Deerfield, Illinois. That's crazy. Earlier this month, general manager Jeff Pelioka told the Sun-Times the Sky hopes to have a new practice space starting next season. The reported new complex will be in the much closer suburb of Bedford Park. The 120,000 square foot complex is owned by the village and has plenty of court space, though it has fewer bells and whistles than the other WNBA facilities. The Sun-Times reported from one source that the team would upgrade the facility should it become the new practice center. So again, it's not going to be like a brand new, you know, bare bones, build it up from the ground up facility. But they're going to take what they're going to use what they got. The 2021 uh, center, that's over 120,000 square feet. And they're going to add more, um, you know, cool technology such as saunas and, you know, uh, steam chef rooms, private rooms, a family room, such as like what the Mercury, the Phoenix Mercury have and the Las Vegas Aces have. So again, it's very nice to see and very interesting that Angel Reese is, you know, she's rubbing her shoulders with the big wigs. I really hope that not only, because again, like Angel Reese, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but she said that she plans to retire. Okay, she wants to play her entire career at Chicago Sky. And I love that commitment, that dedication. She's only, what, 22, 23 years of age? I think she's 23. And she said in her mind, you know what? This is my home. Chicago is, my, is mine. I'm going to be the Chicago Sky Scrapers for the Chicago Sky. And I love that. So Angel Reese is rubbing her shoulders with the big wigs. She's in the big meetings. 
Yeah, she's, you know, she's a big girl at a big job. And she's up and shoulders with the co-owners, the owners, and, you know, people who are investing in the Chicago sky. And she's like, you know, I'm sure she's pitching her ideas. Like, you know, this is what we need. This is what as we as the women on, this, um, on the team need. This is what the Chicago sky scrapers need. We can't compete. We can't get that championship. We can't get that ring. Okay, we can't get that ring because y'all got us working out in, like, a busted up middle school gym. They ain't got no hot saunas. They ain't got no hot pools. We ain't got no chefs. We ain't got no meals. Like, we can't even get a peanut butter jelly sandwich and some celery sticks right before our game. We can't even break bread with each other. Now, compare the Chicago Sky's current uh, busted up middle school gym facility, <laughs> practice facility to say, like, the Las Vegas Aces ladies facility or even the, the Phoenix Mercury facility. Again, it's, a, it's worth over $100 million, right? The Las, uh, the Phoenix Mercury facilities, imagine, like, uh, they have a 10 court, right? It's 10 basketball uh, um, 10 hoops in the court, and they call it the Diana Taurasi courts to honor her, right, and to continue her legacy. Imagine, like, they said, like, it shows analytics on the wall. Imagine you're practicing in the Phoenix Mercury um, uh, new facility, right? You try to make a shot, and it'll really show you on the screen, like, what angle you need to, to go to when to get, actually make your basket, where you need to stand, how much power you need to throw, right? I'm like, like in my mind, because again, I'm just, I'm just reading off, like, what it has, right? The new practice facility in the Phoenix Mercury, it says that it shows analytics on the wall, it has, you know, they have a cold pool, hot pool. Again, like, these are things that, as athletes, again, like, they use their bodies, right, to do what they have to do. That's for their whole career. You have to take care of yourself. I believe LeBron James said that he spends over a million dollars per year just on his treating his body. And that's why he's being able to perform the way he can. He's, like, 49. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He's 39, but they 40 or 40 years of age. And he just, they just recently, very suddenly, just beat South Sudan at the um, ex exhibition game in, in Paris, right? And it's like because he's like, oh, he's old, you know, he should retire down and trust he's old. Like, no. If people are taking care of their bodies as we should, and you if you take care of your bodies in your twenties and thirties, in the forties and fifties, again, that's like that investment. You're pouring and you're pouring a, a time and money and energy investing into your body. So when you get those forties, those fifty years, you can still perform. Probably not as good as a twenty year old, but you're still strong. Um, you know, you're well built. Because you took care of yourself. So I don't understand people who are trying to, like, press Diana Taurasi or even LeBron James to, to um, you know, give up basketball. They need to retire. But, the young, but like, no, they're taking good care of themselves. So again, like, even, again, like the Las Vegas Aces ladies, their facility. Imagine you go to their facility, you play for the, the Las Vegas Aces, and you got a private chef. Okay, you got 24-hour access to the gym. The, the Saks Recreation Center, again, it's a community center. Imagine you use injuries, you Kennedy Carter, after a game. You want to go put up some layups at your community center. It closed at like, let's say, 10 p.m. at the latest. And this is ridiculous. Whereas the Phoenix Mercury, the Seattle Storm ladies, the ladies at Las Vegas Aces, they have 24-hour access, exclusive access to that facility. If you want to lift weights at 2 in the morning, you want to uh, take a supplement, you want to take a cold uh, a pool, you want to jump in the cold pool, I don't know why, because I'll be in the jacuzzi, okay? Or you want to get into the hot tub, you want to get into the sauna, the, the infrared room. You want to, um, what are those things like they go inside like a chamber? I want to do this. Not cryotherapy, like when you freeze yourself off. But um, it's like it shows you like your body fat percentage, your muscle body percentage, like, your, you know, how much water weight. Like, again, like it gives you all these analytics where you can understand like your body more. You can understand how to like possibly uh, eat uh, nutrition wise to recover from injuries, to prevent injuries, to, you know, speed up recovery from injuries. Like they have all this technology and again resources to really like compete and be with the best whereas again in chicago sky right back in the old windy city the second city they don't have anything of that nature they okay they're, they're practicing at a, a freaking middle school gym that closed at 10 o'clock at night and all i got in there is some 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 uh punk a uh, dumbbells some torn up uh you know treadmills they don't have a freaking phoenix Mercury have my underwater treadmill imagine like what the breath control the oxygen, your heart rate, everything that can be increased when you train on a freaking underwater treadmill. I gotta Google this. I wish they would like do a tour, an in-depth tour on both the Seattle, Las Vegas Aces and the Phoenix Mercury Ladies facilities. Cause I gotta see some of this stuff. Like it really is intriguing to me, right? Like they have a family room at the Vegas Aces, like ladies who are breastfeeding. I say they're, they're pregnant, nursing, lactating, who, who knows, right? They have all these resources. And it's like, again, Chicago's guy, don't have nothing and they've lost so many talented women because they just refuse to get their mess together but thankfully again injuries i'm sure she you know she's not the only one but at that dinner she took a very important dinner with the co-owners of the chicago sky and i'm sure she pitched to her pitched to them her ideas about what the players need to succeed in chicago as the chicago skyscrapers i'm excited again i want a tour okay i'm, I'm nosy like that 
I want to see the cutting edge technology that's going to allow our Chicago skyscrapers, and it's all the ladies, Seattle, uh, Phoenix, and Las Vegas, I want to see inside the, uh, their facilities. Okay, I get a little bit of a sneak peek here and there on YouTube and TikTok, but like, I want to see the cryotherapy room. I want to see the analytics on the wall when you're trying to make labs and stuff. I want to see it all. Again, this Chicago Sky practice facility that's going to on the up and up, once it opens up, we're going to see our Chicago skyscrapers dropping points on everybody's head.